Silly season is in full throttle. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well. I really do hope that. Welcome back to another Transfer Daily video where I'm going to talk to you about what's been going around in the headlines, some stuff that looks like it's pretty much happened, some stuff that has happened, and some stuff that probably won't happen. We've got outgoings, we've got contract terms agreed in principle, we've got new names come into the mix from this morning's news, loads of stuff to talk about. Fun, 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 but a quick reminder to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so, please do hit the bell notifications icon as that is important. Why not like this video to help me out? All right, let's get into the content. First up, let's start with young Chelsea centre-back Mark Gurhi. Very, very highly rated young teenager. We've seen him feature for the first team this season under Frank Lampard. Looks like an incredible prospect. He has joined Swansea on loan. An incredibly good and promising loan spell for the young Chelsea player. I think he could probably come straight back into the Chelsea first team if he does well and plays a lot of games. Swansea is a good location for him to go to at the moment as well. They're in a, currently in a playoff place down in the championship and they will be slugging it out and looking to all players to really give their all, perform well, to try and get into the playoffs and who knows, maybe even get promoted into the Premier League. I personally think it's a superb loan spell for the young teenager. They obviously think very highly of him, as does Chelsea Football Club. So I shall, like many of you, be keeping a keen eye on how that goes. Ah, this is a good one. Olivier Giroud has apparently agreed terms with Inter Milan for a two-year deal to sign for the Italian club. Now, you might think this is a rumour, but Giroud's agent met with Inter officials on Thursday in Milan, so it's a confirmed confirmed meeting between the representatives of Giroud and representatives of Inter Milan. They've got a two-year deal on the table for the Frenchman. Really a superb move. He gets a two-year contract. He gets to play on the Conte who likes him and he's played under before. People have talked about, well, he's got two starting strikers. Does he want to be third or fourth choice? But the truth is, right, it's a two-striker system. There'll need to be loads of rotation. Antonio Conte knows he can trust Giroud and he will use him. Let's be honest, Frank Lampard will not use him now. He's looked at him. He doesn't suit what Lampard wants to do. He definitely suits what uh, Conte wants to do. He's a lot like Lukaku in many ways. And also, Olivier Giroud is a Europa League specialist. He was so important to Chelsea last season in winning that competition. He was the league's top scorer, well, the competition's top scorer. He scored the opener in the final that got Chelsea going with that header. Conte will look at that and be like, right, well, we're in the Europa League now. I can just play Giroud in the Europa League, you know, rotate these guys out. Giroud gets loads of football, so he can continue leading the line for France in the Euros. Everybody win, but Chelsea need to make sure they secure a striker themselves. As you know, Chelsea are heavily linked with Moussa Dembele, who I think would like to come to the club and Chelsea would like him. There's a lot of stuff like that, but really the main blocking point for that deal is money. Although Leon have come out and stated yes there has been interest expressed in the player and indeed bids, we are not interested in letting Moussa Dembele go. So it would take an obscene amount of money to maybe loosen their grip on the young striker. Maybe too much in my opinion. Sure Chelsea have money to burn but they still have to be sensible. So although Giroud is ready to go to Inter which again was a really good move for the striker, a really good move for everyone, Chelsea need back up, especially when Bakshuayi doesn't look like he's going to be able to do the business at the moment or certainly is out of form. Chelsea need a backup to Tammy and someone to push him. So whether it's Moussa Dembele, whether it's someone else, I don't know what's this space, but you can bet your bottom dollar Chelsea are doing everything behind the scenes they can to secure a second striker. Great move for Giroud though, I'll tell you that much. Ah, here's another one that's really, really interesting. Thomas Lamar of Atletico Madrid. Now, what's being reported is Lamar is available to go on loan for maybe even six months, just the remainder of the season, which actually, think about this, might suit Chelsea perfectly. Chelsea are backed heavily to get Jadon Sancho in the summer, and it's been confirmed he'll be going nowhere in January. So what if Chelsea just get Thomas Lamar for six months until the summer? He's on 100k a week, which is a lot of money, but Chelsea can pay that. I mean, it's less than they're paying Hudson Odoi. And Atletico Madrid have sort of reverted to type under their coach, Diego Simeone. Remember, in the summer, Atletico did loads and loads of purchases. They got rid of the old guard. They wanted to play attacking football with Lamar, Joe Felix, and a few others. 
didn't really go down like that and it hasn't really worked and in fact they struggled to score goals and like I said they're reverting to type a little bit. Thomas Lamar was a really really highly rated player, he's another one of those Monaco player crop superstars that were pulled apart of that sort of golden era team with Mbappe and everyone else. And generally he's really highly rated. If this is a player Chelsea just bringing in for six months until they sign Jadon Sancho, that's pretty darn amazing, considering how highly he's thought of. Pretty much no risk if you think about it. Sure, there's the wages, but if you're going to have this top tier player that you can re rotate in and out in the Champions League, because I think the rules have changed now, so he would be able to play in, or you just like the FA Cup in the Premier League, you know, he might feel like the pressure's on just to express himself in the new league. Who knows, he might be amazing for Chelsea and then Chelsea sign him whatever. Obviously this is very much a silly season headline from this morning but in terms of quality for a temporary solution until they can get their legitimate target in Jadon Sancho that sounds pretty darn good to me and if it is a six months loan and it's about Atletico Madrid just getting him off the wage book for six months while they're not using him everybody wins right? Anyway of course watch the space come back to football therapy every single day and I'll update you there on what's going on. Right and while we're on silly season let's talk about the latest player linked to Chelsea this morning and I love this player right I'm not gonna say it's a good signing and should be a good acquisition for Chelsea and I think he has been linked to Chelsea before but it's Dries Mertens or Dries Mertens. Right he's 32 years old he's not getting any younger it's like buying an old player but personally, let me just talk about what I think about Dries, because I love him as a player. Obviously, he exploded under Maurizio Sarri and peaked very late in his career, his sort of late 20s. He became like a mental goal-scoring machine. And remember, he starts for Belgium in the front three. Start, so it's Lukaku, Eden Hazard and Dries Mertens. Belgium are the number one ranked team in the world, and he starts for them. Torgan Hazard plays a left wing back, so the Hazards are on that side. Anyway, Dries starts. He's really, really good, but he's 32. I personally have a bit of a soft spot for him because I think he's bloody hilarious. I follow him on Instagram. He's a really funny dude. He's got, seems like a really nice guy in terms of the posts he makes about positive messages and, you know, anti-racism, but he's genuinely, like, hilarious. He uh, speaks fluent English, so... I just thought like he's, he'd be a good feel good factor to have around the club but he's obviously a baller as well. He can play as a centre forward or a winger which would help Chelsea at the moment. He could play down the middle as a backup to Tammy Abraham but he could also be pushed out wide when Frank Lampard makes his tactical changes and tweaks. So really if Pedro goes Chelsea need a backup striker and a backup winger. Drews Mertens is legitimately both. Obviously he's 32 years old and Chelsea would at max give him an 18 month contract which they, they give 12 month extensions but if it's January I think they're inclined to do what they did to Giroud and give him 18 months. That could work great. I mean it's obviously not a long long term solution and maybe if Jadon Sancho does come in the summer Drees would only be the backup striker behind Tammy. Would he be happy with that? Maybe. Maybe if he thinks he joins Chelsea now, this January, he'll get decent minutes to the summer playing either as a centre forward or a winger before, say, a Jadon Sancho or another winger comes in. And that will be enough football for him to see through his starting space in the Euros for Belgium in what will probably be his last international tournament at his age. Probably. Again, it's another one of those things in theory, concept, but, or theoretically, but for me, I love the player so much. I would have loved Chelsea to sign him when he was like 28, 29 to get a good three years out of his prime, but he's 32 now. Um, but if he can do a job for six months, 18 months, and sort of rotate in and out, like I said, fluent English, he'd have no problems understanding what Frank Lampard wants out of him. Tactically, you know, speaks to Michi Betshrai, we had to speak French to the other guys, English to the other guys. I think it would be a great signing. And of course, you could speak Italian to Rudiger, whatever. Still, this absolutely is a silly season story. It's just come out in the headlines today. And like I said, we've been linked with him before when there's been no real true connection. I don't know how much contact there has been made. But Napoli are basically cutting off players everywhere. Ever since there was this controversy recently with the... Um, what was it, the, the detention with Ancelotti and the players going on strike, they pretty much said Mertens is out, Koulibaly's out, all these players, so it wouldn't shock me at all if they tried to flog Mertens this January, and I'd like him at Chelsea, I'm saying it. Anyway, what do you guys think about the stories and players I've spoken about today? Get down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts and opinions on these players about Mark Herhey, 
going to Swansea. Do you think that's a good loan? Would you like Drew's Mans at the club? Would you think Thomas Lamar for six months is a good option? Do you think Olivier Giroud to Inter is a really good deal for him? Let me know. Get down in the comment section below. Remember, if you enjoyed the content today, please do like the video. And if you're new to football therapy, be sure to subscribe as I'm updating you on Chelsea football news every single day. Other than that, you can follow me on social media at both on both Instagram or Twitter at Football Yannick on Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.